And Ann Varias writes in with a very good question about at what point does my DVR project begin to save money? And this is something that I've been asked a lot over the years that I've been doing this cord shaving thing. Now I say the word cord shaving uh, because I cannot get much over the air where I live. So I have to keep my cable subscription in order to watch anything here. I've got like one channel that I can pick up uh, over the air, even with the best antenna right now, which is very frustrating because I would like to like cut the cord and just use that, but I'm unable to do that. So I have to keep my uh, Comcast subscription. That's part of the question here. Uh, he's also mentioning that there's a pretty big upfront investment with the NAS device that I'm using, as well as all the NVIDIA shields. And he's wondering if there's a more budget conscious option that could also leverage over the air content. And one of the things that I did not mention in part two that I've tried to mention in my other videos is that uh, the HD home run devices have different uh, means of accessing content. So they have three boxes that are currently available. Uh, one is the HD Home Run Prime, which is what I'm using in the closet over there. That is for cable systems. Uh, the other two boxes are for over-the-air broadcasts, which allow you to bring uh, the, the programming in exactly the same way that I'm bringing it in from cable. So all the things that I'm showing you work with cable. They also work with over-the-air. And of course, in full disclosure, Silicon Dust is a, an occasional sponsor uh, here on the channel. But what I will be doing in a future episode is looking at ways to reduce that overall upfront cost. And there are ways to do that for sure, because the things that I chose for this were uh, things that I'm using for other purposes. So for example, my server, the NAS device, uh, that is one of the more expensive WD My Clouds because it does really well with Plex. It's running with an Intel processor and everything. But I was running this DVR server for a couple of weeks on a single drive WD My Cloud, for example, and that can really reduce your server cost significantly. So this uh, recording engine is very low impact, far lower of an impact than uh, Windows Media Center required because it did require a PC. Uh, this will run off a single drive My Cloud. Not an ideal scenario, but it works. So that is certainly one way to mitigate costs. And then we'll be looking at uh, ways to dramatically bring down the cost of your viewing clients also. It's gonna be a fun episode, which we'll be uh, exploring. So there are definitely ways to reduce that overall cost, but I really like these devices because I do a lot of other stuff with them, which is why I chose some more expensive stuff. So the NVIDIA Shield, for example, is a great game player and a great media streamer on top of uh, being good for this, uh, this environment here. And I did wanna show you the savings that I am experiencing right now uh, being a cord shaver. So, uh, and this is just my initial look at this. I might be able to find some other areas where I'm saving money. So I don't pay the HD technology fee that Comcast charges for uh, their equipment. I'm not getting charged for the Any Room DVR service, which is an extra 10 bucks a month. These are all monthly fees, by the way. I'm not paying the $20 a month for the first DVR box. I'm not paying 20 bucks to get my other two TVs hooked up. So I'm saving by my count here about $60 a month on three TVs. And the reality in my house, it's probably closer to four or five TVs because I got the studio one here that I didn't count in that mix. And I've got another TV that we use occasionally. And of course, all the mobile devices too. So uh, I'm getting a lot more devices here without having to pay 10 bucks to add each of those to the mix. And uh, right now, conservatively, I'm saving about $720 a year. Year, uh, based on doing this myself versus using Comcast's equipment. So for me, it's a pretty significant cost savings. If I could get more over the air, I could knock out the Comcast TV portion altogether and save a lot more, which I can do at some point. If I ever get a really huge aerial on the house or something and I find that I can get more networks, I can nix the uh, Comcast component out completely, swap in an over-the-air HD home run box and continue uh, working just like I was before. This channel is brought to you by my Patreon supporters, including Gold Level supporter Cody Falk. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash Patreon to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.